So I think that will do f for me now. Um, Good on you, Caro. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that, that was uh, totally awesome, and I love the way that you, uh, you know, stepped out using stuff like Jing and and just really concrete examples of how to get clients. Because I think that you know, for a lot of people, is that well, how do I, you know, how do I get clients? How does that that all happen? And I thought you really. Um, really explain that very well so thank you very much have you got some time for some questions absolutely I love um, answering questions so how, how, what's what do you want to do do you want to look at some of these in the answer window? I can or Chris did you want to um, like either you you or Chris is welcome to feed me some questions if there's yeah, some that she's noticed. To send you some questions sure I've been I've been answering some of your guys's questions as we go too so I I've been uh, taking note of the ones that I thought were uh, that people have been asking over and over again so yeah this is the, that would be great one question that people that seems to be coming up a lot Caro is how do you price these services and we're not talking about making an income claim or anything like that but um, I know you know my general pricing model and so pe that's the that's what people are asking how do you price yeah, a I, I get that question like I'll, that? I'll I'll back that up Chris by saying that you know, I often get asked, well, look, you know, I've actually, I've actually got people who want to engage me. What do I charge? It, it, I think, and again, often with pricing, I think I need to preface and say a lot of it comes down to what you're comfortable with charging because I notice that some people are, are more comfortable charging less some people, and I love those people when I've had some of our, our um, you know, our members have actually said, well, they charge more than our prices and they're comfortable with that. So often with pricing, there's both that balance of market, what the market will sustain, but it's also your confidence with that. So what I'd recommend, whether you use our services or not, um, is that I encourage our customers to go to this section and look at what, and this is what we use as, as the basis, and another presentation I've given, I've, I've used this as the basis, where you have, um, say, and looking at the suggested retail, well, immediately here for creating a website, I tend to like to, uh, you know, price at the, um, when I say higher end, it's the fair end, this is a market value. So, because I'd be wanting to offer them the website that, you know, this is what I'd start with if they, and I might bring them down to this, which they get less for. So if you see something, this is, and this also tells you what you should be offering within that price range. So you can see it, you know, local domain, you know, five page design, um, you know, customer to provide content, um, you know, they provide business name, you know, it's going to be SEO, the website's SEO, and we use WordPress. We're big fans of WordPress, um, and we use, um, you know, and we love WordPress Direct. And you know, keyword research for ten local keywords. So that's what you get for eight hundred dollars. So whether you, you know, use us or not, that would be the guideline there to set it up. Now, a local listing, we've always used um, seven fifty, and you can see there that um, what you get for that. So it's like create the listing. Um, link to YouTube and and so forth. So, and then there's the ongoing. So those like website and local listing. Oh, or, so so you, you so basically people can go and they've got, you know, your there. These are the, basically the wholesale prices, if you will. Uh, and then there's the retail price, so that they charge the client, and then they don't even have to worry about getting somebody to do it because you guys do it all for them on that basis. Yeah. Yeah, and so but, yeah, just like you've got a wholesale product, which is excellent, a great way of doing it. Down the track, folks, you want to learn and become uh, very acquainted with the phrase value billing. Um, and definitely when you're starting out, though, this is awesome because it's just a straight up guide. Look, here's the, if you've got a, a list, a price list and, and so on, when you're first starting out, it really gives you some very firm guidelines. And I hope you don't discount. I really hope you don't. Uh, Apple doesn't. You shouldn't. I don't. It's you, you know you really should value what you're bringing because let me tell you these people currently are getting ripped off blind. You know I can tell you here in Australia, real estate agents for example are paying a minimum of seven hundred dollars a month to be just for the privilege of being listed in realestate.com, which is a directory that just knows how to do SEO. And it's outrageous. I mean they should be number one in their area if they knew exactly what 
you know, Caro and the team are teaching here in, uh, you know, offline hero method. You know, it's just outrageous what people are being, you know, charged. And so, you know, you can go in with confidence that they're just having a look at these prices. You know, they're very realistic for a local business. And, and another thing, just to get yourself comfortable with this, when you're out shopping next, what you should do is just, say, particularly when you're dealing with, you know, the, you know, the classic business owner operator, you should say, look, do you guys have a website? Um, if they answer yes, oh, look, how much did it cost you to go? I'm looking at getting one for my business and, and how much did it cost you and does it cost you to update? And be prepared to be flawed with some of the answers. You know, we're talking $10,000 plus mm -hmm. websites that do nothing, are made of flash, which means Google can't even read them despite what Adobe and Google would tell you. I mean, it's just total bull. And then, and then, here's the kicker, folks. Ask them how much it costs them to update their website. You know, and in Australia, let me tell you, triple figures, you know, $100 plus every time they want to update about they had a cool, you know, they had a celebrity customer come into their shop today, at least $100. Thanks very much for coming. You know, and you should be showing them how to, you know, update their sites, you know, with the, the receptionist sending an email. You know, it's just outrageous what's going on. And what I love about what uh, Caro and the crew are doing is that they're giving you that support framework so you can go out there with a bit of confidence. Rather than trying to reinvent the wheel, they're giving you the confidence to go out there and say, well, I, rather than you thinking, oh, gosh, how am I going to support these services? You've just got it there. And you've got a wholesale price and you've got a retail price. So sell at the retail price, please. And then it, it all it's very, very simple transaction and it makes it very, very simple for a price perspective. Um, that was a long answer, wasn't it? All right, Chris, sorry, <laughs> I was running on. You better ask another question. That's right. Actually, I just want to also add because that was like set up and we're, and this is what we want to encourage our consultants is because uh, there is both a setup fee and then there's also recurring. And I think it's what it said is spot on. If you do ask people what they've paid, it, it, my, my jaw drops open. It's just phenomenal. Um, and it just doesn't cost, they don't need to be paying that. And that's where mm -hmm. some people have been burnt. But it's like we tend to, if you look here, we've got local listing ongoing maintenance of say 300 and then SEO pack of 1200 and this is US dollars um, here at the moment with Australia US you know um, pretty much parity or have been so so that's 1500 a month now you could charge less you can see what it would you know cost you so you can charge less than that but that's how you get the recurring because also you want to educate uh, and again this is for um, you know we're not talking mobile right here this is for overall for charging here but it's like you want to educate them about how it works online and that it's not just about, hey, I've got a website and then I leave it. It's like yeah, you, know, you don't have a Most people are paying at least that, Caro. Most people are paying at least what you're suggesting there to just be a member of a directory or a few directories, yeah. not to be number one for Google and get all the traffic themselves direct instead of trying to share that traffic with competitors, which is outrageous. I mean... <laughs> I, look, in, in the US, I don't know if it's any better, but in, in Australia, the it is just, I did a search, what was it I was looking for the other day? Um, and it was wall to wall, I was, just, I was looking for something, oh, guttering, that's right, guttering. We've had a bit of rain here and I realised the gutters aren't working. Um, so I, I, I typed in Mooney Ponds guttering and it was directory after directory after directory after directory after directory. It was outrageous. Mooney Ponds guttering should be number one in Google and you should be able to help them there. And they should be getting this traffic direct rather than having this traffic siphoned off to all these direct stolen directory services. And that to me is, is you know, you are doing people such a favour by doing this. But you have to, and if I can throw something else in, in here, Caro, just from mm -hmm. working with people on local business for a the last couple of years, and I think this is where you guys do a great job as well, is for goodness sake, don't let the clients do anything. You know, just do it all for them and charge them for the privilege. If you're waiting mm. for copy on a client, you're going to be waiting for a long, long time. Just get it done. Get somebody to write it, to go onto Fiverr, do anything, do whatever you have to do. But the only thing they should be doing for you basically is signing those checks. 
Um, if you expect them to do anything else other than, and, hey, try to set up a direct debiting system, you know, because seriously, small businesses are so busy, they're so flat out that they can't, you know, they just, you know, it's just like, oh gosh, I just, do I have to deal with this? And the facts are, in 2011, they are going to have to deal with this and you need to terrify them into that, taking some action. And I think you guys teach that in a, in a very good way. Thank you. No, we well a absolutely, and and you know, this is such an opportunity for small businesses because Google's doing everything they can to support um, small business being online. It's just a case of small business um, getting online, and I think they are starting to realise that more and more. So um, you know, objections you may face, um, and you know, so what if you face objections? That's just like you know, seven points of contact. You you know, you're looking at offering value as opposed to take it personally. Um, you know, you inform them about how it really does work, and, and you know because you've done the challenge, so you know how it really does work. Um, you know, I think some of these bigger SEO companies, um, whilst I'm sure that, you know they do have value to offer, I think they like the smoke and mirrors um, approach, and you know, really, it's like you don't want to give it all away either, but you can certainly educate them on that, on the fact that they can realistically compete and do well. Yeah, and one another, and that's that's an interesting point, Carol, because that kind of leads into the next question that I was going to ask you, which is a very common one, and that is uh, people are concerned about uh, working with businesses that are local to them, and wondering what do they do? You know, do they need to work with businesses that are in their area? What if they live in a small town? That kind of thing. Oh, okay, all right. Um, I had um mentioned deliberately on, on the presentation and more than happy to because um, there was a lot of information for everyone to take in is that you don't, I mean Chris you're an example of that, you don't need to be local to the business, it's about and I think this is about you know making a shift in your own mindset, it's you know certainly you know it can be nice and easy if, if they're local to you but it's about local business wherever that location is, it's about small business, I mean Chris you have what, you're in one state and you have clients spread um, in many different states, don't you? Yeah, all over the U.S. Um, and, you know, at one time I was international as well, but but ever since, you know, all of the personal stuff last year, when I was rebuilding, I rebuilt here in the U.S., but certainly not just local to me, all over the U.S. Yeah, so it's, so it's local it's local business as opposed to thinking it's got to be local to you. There, there is, and, and, you know, think you can use Jing, um, Skype, um, I think for P PCs, um, I understand from Robert, he was saying that the beta testing for the Mac crap, but the, you know, the Skype is doing um, for PCs, you can do multi-video uh, meetings, it's like you don't actually have to meet someone physically and what you can do is when they become a, you know, a, a profitable client for you, you know, nothing wrong with jumping on a plane and or, you know, jumping on a, you know, getting in your car and going visiting them, but it's not a requirement. It is absolutely not a requirement, not in today's world. Yeah, and uh, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, some of the, some people are asking about the kind of support that we offer Caro and, and I wanted to make sure everybody knows we actually have live chat support that we offer to you once you join as well as email support. Um, I, am, I am available on Skype and Carol's available on Skype for the consultations and um, uh, we have lots of other support options. Well we have we have the forum so there's there's the forum yeah, the there forum. that's you know for members only. I'm in there daily checking on um, you know what people are asking and everything like that. So we have that. We have a monthly Q and A. Um, we're actually going to be doing a bumper two-hour session, um, which I think is next week. So again, if you come on board with us, you can um, join that um, as well. I'm sure you'd have lots of questions, and I love answering questions. And um, like you say, we have the chat, and we also have support email. So and the consultations if, if you choose that option. So we do our best. I just really want to say like we will do our utmost to help you. You do need to help yourself. You know, that that it is about you taking action. I, I don't want anyone to think that this is 
I'm not saying it's hard. It's like, but this is about you building a business. It's about you being hungry. It's about you taking action. And you know, this is a really, really real and exciting opportunity. And you actually have the chops to do it. You, you've done the challenge. You, you know what to do. And we will certainly help you. Um, I find, you know, like there's certainly technical support and things like that. But I find, you know, the biggest area often with helping people um, is also, you know, is that confidence factor or is about knowing how to respond to a client, um, you know, in a particular way. So, you know, we also want to be able to support you in, in that side of things as well as, you know, the actual, um, I suppose, taking the steps, um, you know, the, the physical steps of what you need to do. Very good. Okay, yeah. have we got one, we've got time for probably one more question, I think, Chris. Um, uh, how do I choose? <laughs> okay, uh, here's a good one. Uh, here, this is kind of a common theme as well. So Rick asks, how do you do this part time? I mean, most of us have day jobs at the moment. We want to be out there for our clients, but the goal being to leap to do full time. So kind of how do you balance that? So how do you balance part time with and then going full time? Well, um, you may well. Um, I would be thinking if, depending on what your hours are, um, I would then be looking at for clients that might be in a different time zone to me, where it suits me to do it in my evenings or something like that. That might be something that I look at. Hotels, you know, look, yeah. at, look, at, look at businesses in your area that where. It actually works out that evenings are a useful, useful time for the new. Like a lot of tradespeople are literally out, you know, on the job, so to speak, um, you know, during the day. So it's evenings are often a great time uh, to, you know, speak to tradespeople and so on because, you know, they're they're very busy during the days and don't have time to to look Ab at this. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Boy, can, yeah, yeah. And if you can, let me tell you, let me give you one golden tip. Uh, you know the lo your local business organisations, like in Australia, Rotary um, and Lions Club, and these sorts of things. If you can get yourself on the uh, you know the speakers list for your local business associations, boy oh boy, is that a great way to express start any of these types of businesses. And you know those businesses, when you speak, they you know they they're not somewhere where you would pitch anything, but just by explaining what these businesses can do. Um, you know, I, I, I tell the story where my father-in-law actually asked me, he's a, um, been a long time Rotary member and they got stuck for a speaker and he asked me if I could come and help out. And so I just did, here's 10 things you can do to your small business tomorrow to help your business. And, um, you know, at the end of the thing, it was, it was very funny because I got like, oh, can you do this? Do you do this website? I'm not sure they were, you know, they didn't realize sort of what I did, but, uh, but like I had 16 business cards for people who would have loved to have, you know, been a customer for somebody who's doing offline heroes method. So that's that's a real, if you want a quick start way of of starting, if you can, if that suits you and you're comfortable with that. But do it with the time. I've seen people start local business practices uh, with nothing more. You know, we talk about the half hour session. There was a reason we did half hour sessions in the challenge because, you know, if you can focus. On you know business prospecting for you know five times a week for half an hour, you're going to get some work, ASAP. Mm. You know, and, and it's going to take. And this is what Carrie said in the presentation. It's going to take. You know, just don't make one call. You know, how Cara laid out uh, you know seven different types of contact methods, and be prepared to use them because people are busy, people are inundated. So, you know, to get into the headspace requires a lot of time. Uh, now, Caro, we have to uh, leave it here. So, for people who are you know interested in the you know offline hero method, and I as I say, I give it a complete, absolute ringing endorsement. I think it's a great way to start out, get the hand holding. You have to do the work. There's no question about that. But I think you've all been through the challenge, so you know that there are no miracles, there are no magic bullets. But boy, oh boy, you know, with uh, you know the ability to have you know the the heart the technical part done so that you can just rely on your tactics it's just such a huge opportunity and so you of course can go to uh, www.challenge.co slash blog slash capital o capital h capital m capital o for so ohm offer uh you can see it on the screen there 
And uh, thank you so much, Caro and Gang and Chris, for uh, you know it's telling all of us challenge types uh, about this. It's been brilliant. Thank you, Ed. Thank you for the opportunity, and, and thank you to everybody that um, came along and that's still here. It's um, it's been an honour to speak to you all. So, main thing is take action. <laughs> Please get out there and do it. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it, and we'll uh, we'll speak soon. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye.